Om Shanti, today is your 160th day of your Godly Blessing and before we go ahead in this Godly Blessing, have a look at this link above which directs you towards fitness, yoga asanas, sleep and diet which is very crucial at this present moment. Have a look up there. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say today? Baba says in this blessing that we have to think about taking responsibility. Why? Because everybody is looking at us. It doesn't mean that you're an elder of the house only then you are responsible. Even the young person in the house is responsible because everybody copies everybody. And we have the eyes, we have the ears to see the right karma or the wrong karma happening in front of us on the basis of which we either make our decisions or we copy somebody and our life changes. So we are very responsible souls. So let's look at what responsibility has God given us today. <music> Baba says, may you become an embodiment of complete success by performing every action accurately while considering yourself to be responsible. God is giving us a huge responsibility. Only then can we achieve all the attainments, all the godly attainments. And the biggest attainment is watch. Watch it out. Is it your money? Is it your looks? Is it your name and fame? Or is it your willpower? Or is it your Atma Vishwas? We call it as self-confidence. What is it that is more important? People can take away your money. People can take away your physical looks. Or your looks will go bad after certain days or certain years because you're going to get old physically. But as a soul, you can improve your sanskars, your habits. You can refine them. And that is what is going to go along with you. So people can steal away everything. But if somebody steals your self-confidence how you let them steal their self-confidence by being negative by looking at the bad things in others by listening to the bad of others and that's how your self-confidence your purity goes away your self-confidence goes away so don't let your mind become impure because your purity is the most important gift which god has given you and that is supposed to be protected more than even the wealth which you have accumulated throughout your life so god says May you become an embodiment of complete success by performing every action accurately while considering yourself to be responsible. What is that responsibility? Let's see. At this time, what is the time going on? Every elevated action of you, elevated, conferenced, aged souls, this age for the whole world is Kali Yuga. Everybody thinks this is Kali Yuga going on. But when God has arrived on earth to give the knowledge, he cannot be seen through the physical eyes. He can only be understood through the knowledge which he gives. Such a powerful, beautiful, sweet knowledge which he gives, which no human being can even decipher or think about. That's how you can recognize God through the third eye of knowledge. So God says, when I come down on earth, the confluence age starts. That means the transition from the iron age, hell, towards the golden age, heaven. This is the transition time going on on earth where God is helping souls to become pure so that they can transition into complete liberation while going up and again come down on earth when there is heaven on earth after the destruction of this Kalyug because of the next upcoming third world war. So God says you are getting ready for the next world. So purify yourself. That's your responsibility. So Baba says at this time every elevated action of you elevated confluence age souls becomes a law for the whole cycle. So the cycle is of 5,000 years. Nobody knows about it. People think it's 40,000, 50,000 lakhs and lakhs of years left for the whole earth right now for this Kali to finish. God says, no, there's not enough food for people. Five elements have become very weak. They're not pure enough to sustain human life on earth. So how can you even think about that? There are thousands of years left for the humanity to go ahead. Time is very limited. We can see around the world. Even within religion, there is no peace. Christians are fighting amongst Christians. Buddhists are fighting amongst Buddhists. Hindus are fighting amongst Hindus. Muslims are fighting amongst Muslims. Is there any peace? Is there any sign of peace and success over there? No. That's what God is saying. That at every foundation, in every foundation of any religion, there is disease. So God says, this is the time when I have to come down on earth and teach you souls to become purified, become soul conscious leave complete distractions of the world of different varieties of religions different varieties of caste systems and skin color and so many differences leave all that because that is not the law which will go into the next upcoming golden age 
where there will be equality. So you are creating the law right now. If you have greed, if you have lust, if you have jealousy, if you have judgment of other people, then that kind of soul will never transition into the golden age or the upcoming transition time. And that soul will have to suffer a lot because that's the sin which they would have done while judging others, while bringing difference around everybody. So God says, therefore perform every action while considering yourself to be a lawmaker. So when we are creating the law, we cannot break the law because everybody is following us. Even at home, the parents are being followed by their children. If the parents are into anger or greed or jealousy or hatred, then the children learn that from them and it comes back to the parent. Yes, it does. So God says you are the lawmaker, like a lawmaker in the, at the house, at your own house, the similar manner you are a lawmaker for the whole world. So check your words, check your thoughts, check your actions. That's very crucial. By doing this, your carelessness will automatically finish because when we are responsible, you'll wake up early. When you have a flight to catch, you get up at 3 or 4 o'clock. But when you don't take any responsibility, you'll be lazing around. You won't be careful. You'll be careless. So Baba says that by doing this, your carelessness will automatically finish because people are looking at me. People are looking at the action which I do and they're going to copy it. So I better be careful because I am the lawmaker. God has taught me that and he's directing me. He's reminding me of who I am. So Baba says at the confluence age, you are lawmakers, responsible souls. People are looking at us. Perform every action with this faith of your actions performed in the right way will definitely bring you complete success. Perform every action with this faith for your actions performed in the right way will definitely bring you complete success. When we have people to help us out, whether it be your own home, your family, when you are doing the righteous things, then they will copy you over a period of time. If not right now, they learn out of it. But if you break the law and if you follow the wrong ways, then they level learn. So the responsibility is huge on our shoulders. We follow the righteous way, even if it's hard, even if people laugh at us, even if people pinpoint us, or they are weak or something, or they, or they challenge the righteous path. God says, follow it. Because if you don't do it, then the law will be disturbed and there will be carelessness. The whole peace of the house, whole peace of the country, whole peace of the city, whole peace of the state will go away. That's very crucial. So I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan, the responsible soul of Confluence Age. That's what you and I are. We have to be responsible. Everybody's watching. So take care. Stay safe. Om Shanti.